Turns out I perfectly exploited the weak spot of that helmet. Primarily the rivets, because the, the ball struck it and pushed it in, just ripped all the rivets straight out. And it folded that piece in half. There it is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is ridiculous. There's the entry hole, and here we've got the exit. Pretty impressive that it holds up against 45 Colt. Second one penetrated the brass, dented the steel underneath, and then apparently it tore up the entire attachment here of the mail. Like all these rings seem to be busted somehow. Here is the entry hole, right next to a Warhammer hole. You can see all the signs of the bird shot there. And the helmet itself, itself is really more dirty than damaged. It's leaded. From this, at least. Yeah. Right on the cheek plate, and it did hold up. There is a hole here, but it's just from the material being stretched. It's not large enough for a ball of buckshot to actually fit through. And all the others are just dented. But, make no mistake, that would hurt a lot. Okay, whenever you're ready.
This thing is getting dangerous to handle with all the jagged, sharp steel poking out. That's completely torn up. Some holes here. There's one here. And then in the back. Quite a bit of damage. You can see the copper around the holds. Well, it did not penetrate, but that's one hell of a dent. Here's a pro tip, don't use a Norman-style medieval helmet in an American Civil War battle. Not quite effective. Surprise! It just blew out all the padding. That's fantastic. Yeah, it is. So it does protect against the birdshot, however with such large eye openings you would have still get a face full of birdshot. Yeah, some of the shot came through the eye opening. So even with a very narrow eye slit on a helmet, the, some of it will still get through. Apparently I was being too lethal here. I just took three shots and all three of them went through the eye and well two right next to each other and the third one probably went in between. Not quite what I intended, very effective, but not really what I had in mind. Well, once again we see the deflectional power of a spherical object. It actually made it, made the bullet kind of skip off and it prevented it from penetrating, which is rather unexpected. It dealt remarkably well with the 45 ACP. It's not the hardest load, but that's still pretty impressive. It's interesting you can see how this entire area dented from the shock. So I got in right under the helmet and it struck the nose guard from the inside and that's the result. Not pretty.
And here you can see the difference that velocity makes. The 45 Colt and 45 ACP are a heavier bullet, but this moves a lot faster. So the higher velocity makes it able to penetrate where the other two don't. And So the buckshot tore through the steel and here in front you can see the dents which actually look pretty cool. <laughs> there, right there. That's some severe acne right there. Metal acne. Once again, velocity. 762 by 39 is not a particularly large bullet, but it travels at pl pretty high velocity and uh, it doesn't even dent the helmet much. It just punches holes clean through. No chance, of course. I mean, this was obvious, but just for fun, we wanted to try that too. Unsurprisingly, it chewed it up pretty good. <laughs> 